KuCoin token. So I always encourage people to check out the centralized exchange tokens just because um, the market psychology of uh, centralized exchange tokens is different to a lot of the other cryptos in the space. Um, and I want to talk about that because that has a big impact on why I think uh, exchange tokens will continue sort of going to new highs, barring like a huge issue with an exchange. Um, before I get into that though, guys, if you're new here, you don't know what the spreadsheet is. These are the first 26 coins that the video is about on the channel. When I did the videos, I showed myself buying up all of these coins. Uh, if you did on the same, just popped 100 bucks into each of the coins when I released the videos, sat on them for 16 months and then sold your total profit in under a year and a half would have been over 123 grand. In under a year and a half, that's nearly a house. Now, there's no market in the world like this. We are in a bull cycle right now. So 18 months is not what you have. You have a couple of months to sort your portfolio at best. If you haven't got around to do sorting your portfolio, if your portfolio is full of rubbish, now is the time to do something about it. If you go to copymycrypto.com, have a look at the profits the members have made. That's the site I run where I share my entire portfolio with my members. Anytime I add to it with new coins, I tell my members what coins I'm adding and at what price. Anytime I sell a coin, I tell my members what coin I'm selling at what price. So the members have no work. They make the same profit as me. That's why there are thousands of members on the site. This year is going to be no different. They're going to make great, great money once again. And if you don't have your, your stuff set up, now is the time to do something about it. Because again, you wait two months, three months, you're going to have missed a ton of profit. A lot of people entered the market recently because of the halving. <clears throat> Seem very confused about the timeframes of the halving. And I think a lot of people out there have not been clear on how long it takes to make the profit. I go through all of that on my site. So have a look at copymycrypto.com because it will give you some properly good information as well. Now, KuCoin token. So KuCoin token obviously runs the KuCoin exchange. Um, <clears throat> it was launched back in 2017 as a profit sharing token. Then obviously they've added a bunch of other features in the same way that, you know, BNB and pretty much every exchange token now has. Um, they have a nice burn mechanism for a KuCoin token that again is kind of similar, like similar to how BNB work. They're trying to get their supply down, same as uh, KuCoin. They're trying to get their supply down uh, until j just under uh, just 100 million uh, KuCoin remain. Uh, so there's a buyback and burn feature. <coughs> um, they rebranded from KuCoin shares to KuCoin token uh, because obviously the token itself has a ton of different features. Um, users who hold more than six can get daily dividend, which comes from 50% of KuCoin's daily trading revenue. Um, but the bonus is a unique incentive mechanism for KuCoin uh, shareholders and ecosystem builders. The amount of rewards that users can get depends on obviously the number that you hold. The more you hold, the more rewards you get. Um, and it's used as the utility token to pay for trading fees. It allows uh, users to enjoy discounts of up to 80%, sorry. Use cases also participation in token sales on uh, KuCoin Spotlight, as well as lock drop uh, or burning drop on the Pool X platform, but this is not all. Uh, it serves as a ton of it serves with a ton of different purposes uh, to whether it's payment methods for shopping, hotel reservations, or more. <clears throat> as you can see, they have a ton of good, uh, interesting features. Web three, you know, you got your DeFi, NFT, and Web three stuff. Earn mechanisms, all very very similar to what you will see. I actually, um, I actually think it's pretty good. To be fair, I do personally think that there are um, better exchanges out there, but I do think KuCoin is so damn established at this point that it's always going to do pretty, pretty well. Now, obviously KuCoin is only on, really on KuCoin, Max, a bit Mexi. It's not going to be on Binance because why the hell would Binance list a competitor? Uh, but <clears throat> what we will have a look at are is the general volume that's coming through KuCoin because the volume that comes through KuCoin is pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, so, 
Spot exchanges, as you can see, uh, KuCoin in terms of trading volume is doing around 750 million a day. It's not bad. Uh, in terms of derivatives, derivatives will be less uh, than a lot of the other places, but it's one point just shy of 1.5 billion. So it's doing good volume. It's doing good uh, on the derivatives, but obviously there are certain other places where derivatives are doing very like a ton of volume. You know, Binance does 55 billion, so it's kind of incomparable. <coughs> now, one thing that bodes really, really well for KuCoin, as I said, is it's a seasoned, well-established exchange. It's been around a very, very long time. Um, and while they're having issues with regards to like UK, you know, as you can see, pursuant to the UK financial promotions, they're fine. They're doing they're doing well in every other jurisdiction. And look, the reality is, is the psychology of what happens with a bull cycle. So in a bull cycle, we see quite like the term is retail investors, but the average person, you know, once they start, we see like a flurry of the of of your average Joe getting into the market when all of a sudden they're starting hearing from their taxi driver that, they, you know, their taxi drivers made a ton of money in the crypto market. So we start seeing this flurry of like activity of people joining up on exchanges. And what ends up happening is the majority of people that actually end up getting involved, but not to like, not hugely buy up the exchange tokens because the exchange token is the one that they're seeing the most. It's the one they're most exposed to is familiarity. Because, yeah, people buy Bitcoin and Ethereum. But the exchange token, when you join, you keep seeing that exchange token everywhere. Ah, and the exchange token has a purpose. You're going to get discounts. You're going to get this, 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 this. So the exchange token ends up being the one that's most bought by the newest people in the space. And that usually comes to fruition at the end of a bull cycle. Right at the end of the bull cycle, you start seeing the exchange tokens doing better and better and better and better. People are cashing out of positions, putting it into... Um, the exchange tokens as well that's quite common um and kucoin with the volume that they're doing <clears throat> and with the expected growth in user base because again more people enter the crypto space in the last few months than in the last year and a half because of the etf stuff you we will see tons of different retail uh tons of new investors entering the crypto space once again over the next sort of six to eight months kucoin will get a ton of that market share <clears throat> especially if they do some good advertising. And I think they can start kicking on and trying to beat their previous high. The previous high was about 28 bucks. And I think that is very, very achievable to beat that. In fact, I think $40 could easily be on the cards. Puts it in a market cap of $4 billion or so. Now put that into context, a market cap of $4 billion. But right now they're doing trading volume over $2.25 billion across derivatives and um, spot. But when the market's hotter and hotter and hotter, the volume that they'll be doing per day will be more like, you know, five to $10 billion. And as that volume increases, a ton of that money is going to be used in buying up the, uh, the KuCoin token. And as a result, I could easily, easily see this run up all the way up to 40 bucks because like I say, market cap of $4 billion, but when they're doing trading volume ranging from five to $10 billion daily, $4 billion is not excessive. It's not outlandish. It's a fair reflection of the amount of trading that's occurring on the site. Um, now, one thing I'll say is obviously, <clears throat> it's a centralized exchange. There are massive centralized exchange risks. You should not have your crypto sitting on centralized exchanges. They should be in your wallets, in the wallets you control, uh, because anything can go wrong. And if you're controlling it, the only way it can go wrong for you is if you get hacked If you and that's clicking on a bad link or whatever. But if it's sitting on a centralized exchange, remember they have the custody of it. So if they get hacked or if they get exploited or if they commit fraud, which I'm not saying KuCoin is, but we saw Sam Bankman freed, your, your money, your future investments are at risk. So be careful. Don't leave your funds on exchanges. Or well, certainly none, don't leave anything other than what you're willing, you don't mind losing or what you need to trade. Um, but let me know what you think about KuCoin as well. How, do you think it can go way, way higher than 40 bucks? Am I just underestimating it?
Uh, and guys, if you want to make the same profits as me in this bull cycle, you can do. All you have to do is join up at copymycrypto.com. That's the site I run where I share my entire portfolio with my members. Whenever I add to my portfolio with a new coin, they are told what coin it's going to be that I'm adding and what price. Whenever I sell a coin, I do the same thing. My members get in on cryptos at the same price. They get out of cryptos at the same price. They make the same profit without having to do any work at all. If you go on to copymycrypto.com, like I say, there's a link in the description. You'll be able to see everything the members have made. This year is going to be no different. We're already in a bull cycle. It's going to be possibly the greatest bull cycle ever. So if you don't have a portfolio sorted, if it's full of rubbish, now is the time to do something about it. Read through copymycrypto.com. Try out the service because no doubt it will be able to help you out, guys. And that's it from me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.